Thank you. A motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. The motion has been made and seconded. Uh, Mr. Scott. Here in testimony from the public hearing, I recommend the commission approves project number 20230-11154 CU-MSP subject to the conditions of approval attached as exhibit A and the master site plan. Thank you. A motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. The motion has been made and seconded. Uh, Mr. Scott or Commissioner Scott, would you like to speak to your motion, please? Yes, I actually I really like what they're doing here. I think this is a need in this part of the valley. We see a lot of these go up near the foothills, but pushing one into South Boise and finding a piece of land that works so great in South Boise, or not necessarily South Boise, but in the southern portion of Ada County, uh, really is going to enhance the, the region. And I say it every time, but it's, it's always wonderful to get members of the community to come in and show support. It actually does help. So this is my pitch to the, the three people that watch our commission meetings online. If you, we love getting that positive feedback from members, so it does really help. So I, I absolutely wholeheartedly support this. Uh, it looks like an amazing project. And um, as a resident of South Boise, uh, I look forward to seeing this go up. Any other comments for the commissioners? I mean, all I would Next say time. is I am pleasantly surprised and slightly shocked that there is not a single opposition to a club, lodge, or social hall. I think this is the first <laughs> time in my tenure on this PNZ commission that there's been zero opposition, only support. We really need it over there, man. So. Yeah, and, and in that regard, uh, in that regard, I will just add to what Commissioner Exton has said. This property is unique, how it's situated. And, and the limited impact that it would have on surrounding properties. And, and the event center is basically going to be kind of in the middle of the property. And it's, right now, I presume that you're gonna leave many of the trees that are there in place, is that correct? Because they certainly add to the beauty of the property. It really is a unique piece of property. I'm excited to see it staying the way that it's going to, or, see it being developed the way it's going to be to preserve the unique character of it. It's exciting to see it. All right, the motion has been made and seconded, and we're ready for a vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I also say aye, and no one's opposed. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys, we just left the Ada County Courthouse, and we are happy to say that our permit for conditional use to create our event center has been approved. We are so excited. We have that big step out of the way. Uh, Curtis, why don't you tell them about how the process went? Yeah, well, first of all, we're actually at a place where Cody and I, when I was going to college, we used to hang out and study <laughs> here in the park. But anyway, so it's cool to go full, full circle after a big event, like getting through the conditional use permit. So it, I, I don't know how to describe it. We were agenda item number seven of eight the first one was actually a heated topic where neighbors showed up or online and uh, disputed a venue in, a, in the other side of town. And so the setting and the meeting was a little bit questionable, but as you go through, we, they did anything from, you know, a, um, a storage yard to redrawing boundaries to um, the event venue, um, uh, a railroad tie like cutting industrial company industrial stuff. and then was us and so the stage was set uh, but you're you're uh, you have a staff member which I feel like is something that we didn't really know that a staff member uh, actually he presents, uh, and presents and represents all all of your information so they go through it all and then this rock star right here Cody stood up and gave an overview of the product uh, of the project so what did you say? What were some things you talked about? I uh, just talked about our dream and our vision and how we wanted to leave a legacy for kids and the community and that how there was a need in the community for a wedding venue because people are having to go so far. And so they recognized that need and there was no opposition, maybe two questions and it was passed. Yeah. Plus it also threw me back to some parliamentary, parliamentary procedure, I think is how you say it in high school and in FFA uh, where we went and competed where you have to address the chairman, you have to address commissioners, you have to kind of abide by uh, some yeah. rules. It's, it's nerve wracking. Yeah, it's nerve wracking. Um, but the combination of us getting up, presenting 
our plan, uh, showing the pictures, walking them through. You could just see that they were tired, but they got excited about what's ahead of us and they loved our plan. They're very appreciative. Everybody, I would say, I can't remember how many commissioners were there. Let's just say seven. Three or four of them knew where the property yeah, was. They were familiar with the and property. the chairman, especially the chairman, said, I think he said, I wish I would have bought that property. <laughs> So uh, it was pretty awesome. And then our neighbor that we bought the property from showed up and uh, really just said he couldn't be happier uh, than what we we're trying to do. And then yeah, full support. It was so nice. To and have very that soon it just went, you know, do we get a motion? Um, somebody, one of the commissioners said, I'll motion this. Uh, and then you get a second. And then you comes back to a vote. Everybody says, I and. Boom! Here we Ooh. are. All right. All right. We appreciate Cody's you following. Yeah, <laughs> Cody's arms. Arms tired. Woo. Okay. See ya. All right.